guys, welcome back to another video. Today, it's Friday, day before tournament, event 7, Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing, High Rock Lake. I couldn't say that I'm excited, but I'm here, I'm fishing the moment, and um, getting ready for a tournament, and it's, it's going to be a tough tournament. Uh, the past few times I've fished this lake, it's been just a, it's been brutal. I haven't been able to catch a limit both times I've went out. So, I will say High Rock Lake, though, they have quality fish, so when you do get bit, it's, it's a good quality bass. Um, it's, there's not a bunch of small bass in it. It doesn't seem like that anyways. Um, so, that's one thing I worry about is, you know, catching a limit because a lot of times you can catch one or two nice fish and then you can run through and catch some small bass to fill your limit. But with this case, with it being hot too, you, I'm going to have to grind out the whole day to try to get four good bites. And realistically, I'm only, I'm only fishing for probably four to six bites the whole day because it's going to be hot water stain there's so much pressure on this lake that it's gonna it's just gonna be tough day of fishing and i know that every second count it's gonna count you know every second's gonna count so uh but guys i'm gonna show you i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it kind of simple this tournament i usually take um eight rods out but um i'm probably just gonna take five or six rods out probably plan on i got a i'm gonna take a spinner bait I'm going to take a spinner bait. I'm going to take a whopper plopper and probably switch over between that and a pop bar. I've got a shaky head tied on. I'm probably going to throw a Ned rig a lot and uh, a stick bait. And that's probably about it. Um, just to keep it simple, I mean, because summertime, the fish are active, but you got to find them because they, they stay grouped up and all that. But event seven, High Rock Lake, let's do it. Tourney morning, I'm out here at High Rock Lake, Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing, event seven. Um, very calm this morning. It's supposed to warm up. It's supposed to warm up a lot today, so I think the main thing to do is to try to get uh, get on a morning bite because it'll probably be tougher throughout the day of the tournament. But guys, we got a lot of work to do. Let's do it. All right, guys. So. A couple days ago, I had good luck on this stretch of um, bank right here with all these docks. Got a little pocket over here. Um, I caught some fish in this area. This was the only place I, I really caught fish a few days ago. And um, my plan is to hit this first and just keep moving out of this creek, second creek, and just, just cover a lot of water today because that's what it's going to take to get bit. And I need four good fish. Let's do it. Might have to spike it. I'm telling you what, man, it's hard to get a bite on this lake. Hard. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, that is a good start. Look at that nice largemouth. Ohio Rock Lake largemouth, 16 and three quarter. I'm 
Yeah. Thanks for the fight, buddy. You gotta love it. So after my second bass that I caught, I wanted to keep moving. Um, I went around this point, and uh, straight ahead of me, I noticed I had some docks. And my plan was to go hit those and try to find some laydowns or something like that. And um, this dock particular had logs and laydowns all around it. And um, I wanted to I hit this one first, and I actually I got hung up on this dock. And I had to go towards it, and right when I got unsnagged off of it, I was able to get another bite on it. Check this out. Pretty good one too. Fish of the day, 15 and a half inches. Nice one. Nice and fat. I'm gonna let him go. Number three. Man, this one is gonna be a heartbreaker. I got four, I got three fish at 47 inches. And if I was to catch like another 15 inch or something like that, man, that would help me out a lot. It's been tough. I lost that one this morning, and I, that that should have been my limit. And he was a good fish, probably about between 15, 17 inch fish. That's just how it is. I mean, but I will say that today, the fishing today for me was better than pre-fishing. Alright guys, well we got we still got the three fish and I only got about 15 more minutes to fish, but it's still been an awesome day. Way better. Uh, today went way better tournament wise than the last two times I came pre-fishing. So that is a, on a positive note, that's that's cool. Um, at the same time it's a heartbreaker because all I needed was another fish to get in the top ten and that's definitely a heartbreaker but what do you do you got to suck it up and keep fishing and move forward on it and, you know live and learn um, I lost that one fish this morning and that was 
that could have really helped me out. That would have put me where I needed to be in the top 10, I'm pretty sure. But live and, live and learn and move to the next one. All right, guys. Well, I ended up placing 22nd out of 69 anglers, but I still got some important angler points for the uh, championship at the end of the year that I really needed. But guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, y'all have an awesome day. What's going on? Hey buddy, what's up Brian? What's going on? Yeah, last time I stopped the fish there in that Grady's tournament, I was catching them good on a like a spook. Yeah. And uh, I had a bass boat just pull in there like I wasn't even there and start fishing right in front of me. And, and that's like, it's like he didn't even see me there, you know. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, that's how my pre-fishing went a few weeks ago. Down there? Oh, uh, I know you had a big day down there the Friday, wasn't it Friday? Uh, that hard one? Oh no, I ain't talking about. Oh, you're not talking about. Harvey. You had a good day down there on Friday, though, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. I had like 66 inches. Oh wow. Yeah. I was like, man, I know, it, I knew it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> the next day, I was yeah, like, yeah, I just never had anything going at all. I was telling him last Saturday up here, I had four of them, and my smallest one was about three and three quarters or four pounds, and uh, they pulled the water. He, he was in there with where I was at this morning too, and. Uh, not a top water bite to be had in there. Yeah. But y'all have any luck today? No. I, I got, got two. I got yeah, three. He's got he's got, got yeah. 62. So. I got 47 and a half inches with three fish. I need oh. one more fish. I got like 25 inches. <laughs> yeah, I had a bad day. Yeah. I lost. I'm gonna mess around and not make that fish off because I slipped two two places last last tournament.